Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Pot Creations. Uh, tutorials today, we're going to see how I make the pine needle weed earrings. We'll be using some raffia that you'll get from the craft store, and I have pine needles that I have gathered from around my home and the park. I'm going to soak the pine needles in the raffia overnight. And I will use a 20 gauge floral wire to create the forms that we will be weaving around. Weaving the raffia around the form. So to make the form, <laughs> we'll get started with measuring the floral wire, usually in about 8 to 10 inch lengths, depending on how large I want the earring. And we're going to fold it in half and twist it around itself to create a circle that we'll start with. Just going to loosely twist it down one side, from the top down, and then down the other side. And then I use my flat pliers kind of just to use it to twist the wire around itself. Go down one side and then go back to the top and twist it on the other. And the twists become more uniform and a little tighter fitting on the form. Once we get it to the middle, meet at the middle, then crimp the ends to make sure they don't stick out snip them off if they are too long. In my kneading nose pliers I have a flat surface that molds the shape very well. And we have the circle and then we're going to take the circle and form it into the heart shape that we're going to need for the needle, for the earring. And I usually go where the wires meet at the bottom and put my pliers there and just pinch it and that creates the point of the bottom of the heart and just shape it and then once I have that point set then we just go to the top of it put my pliers there and just bend it in to form the heart and just use my pliers to work with the wire to get the heart shape that I want. And that heart shape is what we will use to weave the pine needle earring on. Let's start with a one strip of the raffia. And I keep the water close by so that I can dunk the raffia in it, keep it wet so that it won't fray or break. Be using a tapestry needle to put the raffia, weave the raffia onto the form. We use a tapestry needle because the eye of the needle is much larger and the raffia fits through it very well. And we'll begin by putting the raffia onto the form, and we're going to put a little tail there that we're going to weave over the top of. That will secure it to the form, and we won't have to tie a knot. You don't tie knots when you do any kind of weaving. So you go over the wire and come through the middle and that creates a loop that you'll put the needle through and when you pull it all the way through that creates your first weave stitch so it's over that little peg to secure the raffia to the form and you'll just continue with that stitch 
going over the wire due to the, the loop that it creates. Pulling that back out and create the next stitch. And that is how you do the stitch around the wire form or the wire through the loop. Make sure you get it over that little tail. Continue all the way around. And you want to make sure your weave stitches are laying flat and next to each other, close to each other. And it's just firm but not too tight. Can you continue around the form? And once you get around to the point of the heart, you want to be sure that the wires are crimped in, the ends are not sticking out, and the refuse is able to cover over them. Continue all the way around until the weave has reached the beginning. I mean, the, where you started. And you'll need to close that gap between the last stitch and the first stitch. And you'll do that by going through the hole that the first stitch has created between the first and second stitch. And just go through that. That closes the gap between the first and last stitch. And it connects the weave together. And then you come back out to the last stitch. And that weave is all towards the center of the heart. That gets in the position to begin the weave that goes around the outside. And you'll be using the holes of the first row weave. And just go between the stitches, create that loop that you'll pull the needle through. And the stitches are now going to be facing the outside of the form. Create that loop, pull that needle through, and the stitch faces the outside of the form. And now this is stitch you'll continue all the way around the outside. Stitches will be facing the out towards hours of the form. Create that loop, pull that needle through. And you'll continue that all the way around until you meet up with the first stitch. Connect those, close the gap. You'll use a running stitch to go in and out of the form for a few stitches and snip it off. Hmm. We have attached another one, another raffia to do the pine needle weave. You'll go down about three holes and put a little tail towards the center of the heart and you'll do a running stitch back to the middle, to the center, being sure that you overlap that little tail. That secures the raffia to the form without having to tie them out. And that running stitch will just get back to the center of the heart. Be sure to get over that little tail. That secures the raffia. So you can begin weaving the pine needles. Pine needles come in a batch of three. To make sure they're all the same length. Nice and cleaned up and soaked. 
I'm just going to snip off the node and keep the batch and three together. I'm just about to position them into the middle of that heart all together. And then you'll do an overlap stitch that will secure the perineals to the form. The wet form. Several overlap stitches will secure that in place. And then you can start the weave. And you'll begin weaving with the, a slant stitch. So you go down three holes on the wire form. And that's the first slant stitch. And then you'll do a straight stitch. You'll go right back up through the hole you were already in. That's the straight stitch. That's the weave that you'll do all the way around the outside. So you do go down three holes and that creates a slant stitch that goes over the over the top pine needles snugs them up against the form then you go right through the same hole that you were in that creates the straight stitch and then go down three creates that slant stitch and that's the stitch you use to go all the way around the wire form is a slant stitch use that same hole and do a straight stitch and then you'll get that all the way around to the center or you would just snip off those pine needles or they'll fit right into the center and your last snap stitch will just snug those needles right in to the center and then you will use an overlap stitch to secure those needles right into where they belong and they'll be nice and snug in there and the overlap stitch a few times towards the middle and then you're going to start your weave to go back and that slant stitch all the way around in the opposite direction of the previous slant stitches but you will not do a straight stitch this time you're just going to do the slant stitch in the opposite direction the other so you'll create an X with those slant stitches. So go where the other next straight stitch is, cross over in the opposite direction, and then slant over, go through the next straight stitch all the way around. And you'll get yourself back to the center of the heart where you'll just do an overlap, a couple overlap stitches. <laughs> and then you'll do a running stitch to secure the raffia into the raffia weave just up and down a few times. That secures the raffia within the weave. Once it dries, it secures there, and okay. so you don't have to have a knot. And you just snip that off, and that is your pineal weave earring form. That needs to dry overnight, at least a day or so, so it, the raffia is dried and the needles are dried. I will have kits available on my website with raffia needles wire. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And part two is coming next. Thank you.